Hello everyone. This is about reducing carbon footprint. CO2 is emitted by combustion of fossil fuel and that has detrimental effects and you can see the polar bear has already realized that uh, melt, uh, gla glaciers are melting. There are a lot of consumers and producers of, of carbon and for example transport or um, households, but we can say that more than 50% comes from industry and we are in particular interested in chemical industry. Now this problem is of course not new. People have done something about it and what you see here, this is uh, the industrial park at BASF. They use the synergetic effects of putting multiple um, processes together for more than 150 years. So they try to use efficient processes to reduce energy consumption. Things have changed. We have now the Internet of Things and with the Internet of Things we have new opportunities. People can now access whole networks of machines and the machines can talk to each other. How that is translated um, is the topic of the Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 and you can see that here machines are talking to each other and that there are models behind um, a whole industrial process. Now we want to create just that and the question is how and the first thing you need is a symbolic a language representation of everything that you can find in an industrial plant and for that you need to use um, semantic web technologies and what you see here was a, 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 an example of that. You also need mathematical models that are part of this language description. So you pull the mathematics into um, files that are then available in the cloud and contain knowledge about a physical, to uh, a physical entity, for example, a pump. Of course, these entities constantly broadcast data into the virtual avatar. It's a bit like your hand talking to your brain, okay? And this data is then taken and through mathematical techniques of parameter estimation put into the avatar as a Lego brick. And once you have the Lego brick, you can put these Lego bricks together and produce whole networks of um, industrial entities and you can build walls and houses and depending on that you can investigate um, specific questions, in particular um, the carbon reduction being more efficient. You can design plants in ways that you were not able before because you can use mathematical optimization techniques for the design. You can also, once you have the design, try to optimize operation. So you can go and see what's the right temperature, what's the right composition to get a specific product and how to run and operate a specific process. And of course imagine in the industrial park there are lots of them and they consume a lot of heat and the heat of course um, produces CO2 through combustion. You can also, once you have the overall network, use smart grid to optimally control the whole of the industrial park to make use, for example, of cheap electricity. Or you can use the smart grid to reduce redundancy of energy production and with that um, reduce CO2. Mm. Now we are now in Singapore looking at a specific place and that's Jurong Island. You see it behind me. This is an island full of chemical plants and petrochemical plants, so refineries, the paradise for a chemical engineer. <laughs> and what you see here is the first version of such an avatar, a network of avatars that um, are represented in the internet and are constantly um, producing what happens in this island. Um, so, for example, you could um, modify the smart grid, how it operates, and um, with that save CO2. Finally, of course, the question to end with is, if you have such a symbolic representation, a virtual industrial park, could you transform consumer demands, right, into 
um, the way you run and build industrial parks. Thank you.